guys, today I want to talk to you about um, body care, skincare, etc. Uh, for winter. I started filming this video last week and something went wrong. It didn't film, various things stood in my way and so I'm fil filming it again today and I'm hoping that I've got everything in front of me because um, with it being skincare and things that I'm using at the moment a lot, things have been downstairs for the video and then they've made their way back upstairs for me to use them and I've brought them back downstairs again and I'm hoping I'm not missing anything. However, I have done a blog post on this ready for this video to go up. Um, I'll link that below so if you are interested you can check that out. There'll be links to where to buy things, little mini reviews and if you have missed anything in this video then it'll be in there. So with that out of the way I'm going to start with oils. I have three oils to talk to you. I have three oils to talk to you about. Um, the first one is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter and this is the Skin Therapy Oil. This is really, really nice. I've used this for maybe three weeks and I've used a lot of it. But the reason I've used a lot of it is that I've been using it on dry skin more than I have on wet. And you'll find that if you use it straight out of the bath or the shower, you use a lot less of it because it travels further, just soaks into your skin a little bit better. And let's face it, oil on dry skin, although it might make you feel better overall like the next day, it takes a really long time to soak anything in there. It just kind of sits on top and it'll rub off on your clothes, it'll rub off on your bedding, and it's just a false economy at the end of the day. You're not, you're not gonna be getting the most out of it if you put it on dry skin. If you put it on your wet skin, then it's better. This particular one is formulated for scars, stretch marks, dry damaged skin, uneven skin tone, and aging skin. It can also be used on your face, which I think is a fantastic thing because I generally put it all over my body and then I'll just put a little bit on my face. Um, I'll kind of go downstairs, let all that soak in for a while, and when I go to bed, I'll then put on my night cream. And it's just almost a serum underneath my kind of regular heavier night cream and um, so I've been using this the most I would say and although I've only had it for a few weeks I know I'll definitely repurchase it. It has that same chocolatey amazing smell um, and I would absolutely recommend it. Another one that smells amazing is this Shea Beautifying Oil from The Body Shop. And this is a dry oil. It's not quite as oily in my experience as the cocoa butter one. Um, it's just a little bit less greasy. Uh, so if you don't like you know, greasy oils. This is probably a little bit up, more up your street, I would say. You can use this in your hair, you can use it on your face, you can use it on your body. If you use it on your body, this is not going to last you very long. I think it's about £10 for what, 100ml maybe? 100ml. Um, I would say use this as a facial oil just because of the amount that you get for the money that it is. This is probably close to the £5 mark, I'm not entirely sure how much it is, but it'll definitely be less than £10 and um, you get a lot more product. This one is 150ml. It looks more than that, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, this is very, very nice. I think this is nicer quality, perhaps, than the Palmer's. Um, and I tried to use it on my hair, but it was particularly oily, so I found that it made my hair really, really greasy. I wouldn't use it as a hair oil. I would use it as a facial oil. But I think oils, just in general, are fantastic for layering underneath any kind of creams that you're using, day creams, night creams, even for oilier skins. And that's where this comes in. This one I've been testing is the Angela Langford, naturally for you, I think it's called Balance Me. Um, you might not have heard of this, they contacted me and this is a, a little PR sample if you will, but it's just a tester. I think this is actually £30 full price, I don't know how big the bottle is, um, but I think it's £30 so it's quite pricey. But I found this to be the best one for my skin during the day, because it's designed for oily combination skin. So not just oils, you know, body oils, facial oils, it's not just for dry skinned girls at all. Especially in winter, we all need hydration and moisture. Um, and I think this is a really great one. I'm hoping that you'll be able to find something like this at the drugstore very soon. Uh, but for now, the Angela Langford Naturally For You one is very, very nice. And that's, it's just got kind of like a little pipette. And a very little goes a very long way. And I'll put that on again underneath my regular moisturiser. And it's just oils, 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 oils. I cannot stress enough how important they are in winter time to keep ourselves moisturised. I don't know about you, but my arms, my back, all of my body gets so dry. I'm so itchy all the time even during the summer, but in the winter, it's an absolute nightmare, so oils are my saviour. My two favourite body lotions at the moment um, are the Garnier, Garnier, Garnier Body 7 Days. I've talked about this at length before. My favourite one is the Shea Butter because I like the smell, but also it's um, designed for dry to extra dry skin. These absorb super fast. You can definitely get, get dressed within five minutes of applying this, and it's great for those, those of us that aren't so great with moisturising every single day. I'm a little bit better now with the oils because with moisturiser you've got to wait for you to completely dry from your bath and you've got to wait for it to sink in before you can put your pyjamas on or go to bed or whatever. But I have my bath of an evening and I think that if I get out of the bath, put the oil on, put my dressing gown on, I'm done. It's just easier for me. Whereas body lotion is a little bit more fuss. 
um, because I wait for myself to dry, etc, etc. Um, so I use this and I don't use it every single day because I'm not good at remembering that kind of thing, but it doesn't, it's not entirely necessary. I can use this every few days and I still feel the benefit, if you will. Um, if you've got particularly sensitive skin or very, very dry skin, this is great as well. This is the E45 Intense Recovery. Um, and probably a little bit cheaper. I mean, these are both kind of the three, four pound mark. Um, this is for very, very dry skin. Suitable for sensitive skin, perfume free. I have had somebody tell me they um, broke out or something terrible happened when they used this. So, although it says sensitive skin and I would say this was fantastic, I don't know if it's gonna be suitable for everyone. I don't know if that's just a one-off, but I've used this on my legs immediately after shaving and I don't use anything to shave my legs. I just shave them with water, which think, people think is crazy, but I've always done it like that and I don't have any massive problems. However, when I've shaved my legs, I do find it tough to put something on straight away afterwards because it stings a little bit. So this is the only thing that I've found so far that doesn't sting. This and the kids E45 lotion. Um, are the things that I can put on straight away afterwards. Or an oil, oils seem to be okay as well, but body lotion wise, I really, really like those two. Um, I have one foot cream in here, which is Heal Genius from Soap and Glory. Once upon a time I hated this because you can't mass, more, <laughs> what am I doing? You can't massage with this. And generally if I'm putting cream on my feet, I'm not putting cream on my feet, at least putting cream on my feet for me. And um, I want a bit of a massage. And if I give him this, he can't massage it, which means he just puts it on my feet and then it's done. And then that's just like, well, what happened to my foot massage? So that's why I didn't like this. Whereas now I'll put it on myself um, for a bit of a treat. I can't wear socks to bed because I have hot feet. Strange little thing to know about me, but it's true. Um, so I'll just put it on during the day if I have time, which is never, um, or of an evening, just after, you know, go to the toilet, make sure you don't need to do anything, you don't have to get your, get on your feet, because I can't leave it on overnight because of the sock issue. Um, so I'll leave it on for a few hours in bed while I'm watching TV generally, or while I'm painting my nails or something. My fingernails, not my toenails, obviously. But I find that's a really nice foot cream. I'm sure it's even better if you put socks on, but I cannot stand it. Uh, something I do want to mention briefly is although I'm going to go into lots of kind of thick, moisturising stuff. I also have this in reserve at all times and it's the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturiser Oil Spray. Sorry about that, the baby woke up. Um, yeah, it's the Dual, <laughs> dual Action Moisturiser Oil Spray and it's basically my spot treatment. Um, it is great for blemishes. It's just, I've, again, I can't say enough about this. I've already made a whole video about it, um, which if I can remember, I'll link below. But I probably can't, so I'll just tell you that I put it all over my face and it kind of tingles. My totally, totally cleansed face. Um, and it tingles and then I'll dob bits on if I've got big breakouts and it shrinks them. I can't say better than that. I've used the Clean and Clear Blemish Solution little silver tube. I didn't like that at all, but that stuff is amazing. And I'm out of breath after getting the baby. Okay, um, now on to kind of facial skincare. I don't know if that wasn't facial skincare, but you know what I mean. Um, the hot cloth cleanser from the Vitamin E range at Superdrug is amazing for this time of year because it's very, very thick. It leaves kind of a residue. It smells like sun cream, bizarrely. Um, and it wasn't my favorite, but then as we've got into winter, I actually quite like it. Do you like this? Apparently Milo likes this. You can have that then. Um, and I think it's like three pounds or something, and it's quite big. Is it maybe 200 mil? Yeah, 200 mil. What did you think of that? And um, it is very, very thick, so it's not fantastic during the summer, which is when I originally started to use it. But now winter has come, I found that it's, it's much, nicer for my skin and my skin kind of is more receptive to it. Um, you can use it to take off your makeup, it's basically exactly the same as the Liz Earl, but it's thicker. So, although I didn't like it in the past, I'm going to do a big um, kind of roundup of, what are these called, hot cloth cleansers very soon because I've tried quite a few of them. If you want me to try anything individually, let me know because I want to try as many as I can. I need to try the number seven, but I've tried the Soap and Glory, this one, thank you. Um, one from Botanics and obviously the Liz Earl. So I've got a few to show you. But that one wasn't going to get a very good wrap at all. And since winter has come, I actually really like it. And I think it's going to be great for drier skinned girls. Um, another thing that's fantastic if I've got particularly dry skin is 8-hour cream. And I always have this. I use it more for lip balm than anything else. But if I have particularly dry skin, I'll use this as a, like a moisture mask. I'll put it on all overnight. Um, and when I wake up in the morning, there are no dry patches. It's not something that I would do on a regular basis because it's very, very thick. And it might create blemishes. Um but just kind of as a one-off when my skin is particularly dry and I've got those dry patches, this is amazing. And I'm not a big fan of the smell. Actually, there is something I've forgotten and it was the La Roche-Posay version of this. They've kind of got a repairing balm, I think it's called. Um, and that's a, a nicer version of that. It's a bit more like E45, 
but it smells nicer, it's a bit thicker, mm. and it's a bit more of a treat for your skin. So that's what I've been using kind of rather than this at the moment, just because I prefer the smell of it and that it's not greasy, it's just kind of like a cold cream. Um, but like I said, that'll be linked in the blog post below. I have another La Roche-Posay thing here to talk about, and that's the Hydrophase Intense Mask. It's a soothing re rehydrating mask, and I blogged on this and lots of people um, responded saying that they loved it as well, and it's an absolute staple for winter, little man. It's an absolute staple for winter. This is something you can use overnight as well, something that you can leave on for 10 minutes. It's supposedly it's supposed to put it on your skin, leave it for 10 minutes, and then wipe off the residue that is left with um, a cotton pad. Most of the time, my skin is so dry, it's so weird because it's so combination. I get such oily patches and I still get blemishes, but then it is so dry that it just sucks this stuff up. After 10 minutes, there's nothing left on my skin, so I generally just leave it on kind of as a, a treatment moisturizer, if you will, over night time. But that's a very, very nice thing to have in over winter. Um, second to last is this Vichy Idelia Pro. And it's basically a corrector. I've lost the top because Milo was playing with it. It's your fault. Um, this is not necessarily a winter skincare item, but it is something that I'm using at the moment to kind of combat the problems that I've had during the summer. And this is reducing the little dark spots and things that I've got from being out in the summer and not maybe using the protection that I should have been using. Especially when I was using the liquid gold, I had big problems with kind of dark areas here of sun damage. And that is honestly making a difference. It's supposed to even out your skin tone and generally kind of lighten up those dark areas anyway. So I don't know whether or not it's gonna help the rest of my skin, but these areas that are very obvious are now very obviously improving. I have one last thing to talk about. Now I can put this baby down in a minute because he's very heavy. Can you sit on my knee? That would be easier, thank you. Um, the last thing I have to talk about is quite new to me. I've had this for two weeks, but I am completely in love with it. Yes, you can have that. And it's the Organic Surge Blissful Daily Moisturizer. And it's for normal skin. Again, this was a PR sample. They actually contacted me and asked me which of their new moisturizers I'd like to try. And I am absolutely in love with this one. I don't talk about a lot of things that I'm sent in videos. I will, they generally only get into favorites videos. I'll do a blog post and a review on pretty much everything that I'm sent. Whether I like it or not, I will always be honest. However, I don't then generally tend to follow that up with a review on my YouTube channel. Things that I love or things that I hate will get into videos, but kind of middle ground stuff never does. This is amazing. It smells so good. It's got that kind of herbally scent to it, but it's more citrusy. It's more kind of lemony. Maybe rosemary or something. Oh my God. Organic rosemary and lemon essential oils. I'm normally crap at that kind of thing. But it's such a thick cream, but when you put it on, it's almost like it's water-based. I'll bet it is water-based, in fact. Yeah, aqua is the number one ingredient. It soaks in so quickly, and it's just so, so nice. It feels like a thick moisturizer. Um, it's kind of my ideal night cream. I know it's supposed to be a day cream, but I use it at night time, because I'll put an oil on, then I'll wait for it to soak in, and then I put that on. It just kind of seals everything, but it leaves me feeling fresh rather than greasy. It doesn't leave a residue in the morning, and it's just amazing. I'm, I've not even been using my Clean and Clear for my spots at the moment, because I've just been powering through with my regular routine, and that is not too heavy to use over blemish-prone skin, or skin that's even actually got active breakouts. I've just been so, so in love with it. So that might even get a massive rave video of its own, but I haven't uh, reviewed this on my blog yet. So expect a big blog post on that soon. I hope that this has been useful. I hope that the baby wasn't too much of a distraction, but I've been trying to film this for two weeks. So this video was going to get made today. Um, I did think he might sleep through, but apparently not. I will try and get some more Halloween tutorials filmed. I'm not sure how many you will have seen by this point, but if you have any suggestions and I have time left, please let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hold it like this, look. Yeah, it's like that.